What I'm doing right now, I'm kind of cleaning up uh, all the small foliage that's uh, covering the, uh, the thickness of the branches. Yeah. And uh, when, when you're looking to buy a tree or a bush to, to, make it, uh, to, look, to make it look like a tree, you look always looking at the thickness of the, of the bush and a lot of branches. So that way you have a lot of material to work with. So you can have a decent looking tree. So this is what I'm doing right now, just cleaning up all the extra foliage that's covering the nice wood. So you can be able to see the branches. We just begin to show now. Yeah. It also helps you to decide what branches you're going to cut down if you need to do it. You know. yeah. And what kind of a tree do you have here? This is yeah. a uh, juniper. It's a juniper. It's, it's a kind of a low growing cut to cover the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But in this case, this kind of juniper, as the years pass by, it can get big. Yeah. After so many years, you know. They can grow up to be maybe, maybe as tall as those bushes right there. That's about nine feet. Mm -hmm. Where did you get this tree, Miguel? It's not mine. The uh, Ernie, she got it. I don't know where she got it from. It come out of the yard? Or no, come, from come the nursery. Came out of the These nursery. These trees came from the nursery. Swift, like right. a wind swift. Exactly. Yeah. Because I can, I can lower this one down. Uh -huh. And this one, I'll leave it high. And maybe this one, said, uh, just bend it, sort of bend it a little bit. See what it looks like. Yeah. Gee, I'm not as dumb as I thought I was, Mike. <laughs> You're not. I thought it was wind swept too. Yeah. I'm 
be certain not some of the tip of their branches so they don't look too long. Yeah. To make the tree look balanced. Make it stand. Let's see. I'm already putting start putting some of the wire so we can uh, do some curves bending on the branches. Right there, I can put my thumb right there and bring it down if I want to, see? There. Oh, that's nice. And, this, like this. and then I can make some curves, see? Look at how interesting. There, see? They like to have a vacation from growing and stuff. Different sizes of wire, <laughs> but I've only brought them. Yeah. So, do you have a place where you have a bunch of them that we can see your finished product? Is that it? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. How do you see that? Oh, well, that's super cool. Yeah. The big boys are. <laughs> Advanced. Maybe has shop or something, you know, where he does this. This is just a hobby. It's a hobby. Okay. I don't think so. I'm going to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> these guys, Ernie and, and Miguel, we're looking at real artists here. And maybe it's even more than than that. Maybe it doesn't have anything to do with the trees. You know, it's a... It's a that, there it is. It never seems to matter where I'm driving. I'm always spotting something along the way. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it has possibilities. It's one thing we never do. We never dig on the road, we always get a permit to go before us to dig. And that's where you get a lot of viewers. Someone was saying she's bought hers and I don't know, somebody was going out of business wherever she lives, yeah. a lady out there at their local nursery and then she's bought some at, I don't know, Walmart or someplace. Most of mine are collected. Oh, really? I like larches. I love larches. I have so many. Too many. <coughs> and you just decorate your home with them and the outside? You want, yeah. Mm -hmm. There they are. This is the first year I've ever brought any to the exhibit. And I've had them for, so for 20 years. They're temperamental because they're a high forest tree. And they don't really take kindly to oh. get them. I lost two of them already. Broke my heart. Yeah. Almost was giving them out the mouth. Keep going. 
when you go into the uh, gallery, uh, we have three, th three of the people in our club are, are here, and you can really see their, their, their voice in the trees and the way they work with trees. And Ernie is our president, and if you, uh, especially to see her large trees, that would be one way of, of ex experiencing the show, to look at what Ernie has done. And then Miguel has a, a totally different uh, kind of uh, exhibit, and he has about seven trees here. And one of Miguel's is, is called Harmony, and uh, there, it's a, there's a rock, and there's, there, there, you'll see trees, and you'll see the, the fishermen, and the koi, and the ferns, that's, that's Miguel. And then back here we have uh, Kay Taylor. She, her, her cascade of, of uh, Cotoni Astor was the winner in last year's show. But if, uh, Kay has a way of, of putting some of her plants in pots right the night before the show. And so she's cre cre creating, I mean, these are, these are designing, these are real design uh, opportunities for us to, to, to see what she does. So if you, if you just, if you had a chance to have the three of those, these people take you around and take you through, you'd, get, you'd experience in the, the show in a completely different way. Hmm. It's a little different than it did an hour ago. Really? <laughs> I think it's a really neat tree. Oh, yeah. Too. yeah. You don't see very many leaves wet. And those all three are pointed the same direction. And mm -hmm. From a very windy area. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this is a windy area. They're from Camino Island. Okay. And you know, I've been one place I have never been. <laughs> See, our past president, Linda. Oh, well, that's Linda right. She, oh, yeah. And she took these with her. Her <laughs> got them up there. I don't know which. But she, a couple weeks ago, she called me and says, I have a lot of things I need to get rid of. I'm coming down to see you. <laughs> so she did. Have you ever Nathan? Yeah. yeah. They died. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Well, when we're supposed to be bringing to the show died on you, or turns brown and then all the leaves fall off, you just quit get dizzy and pop up mouse. <laughs> Now you tell me what a pad is. I've been coming to Bonsai for six years now, and not once did anybody ever say, that's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> they all, uh, they're always so encouraging. That's one place where it doesn't matter who you are or what kind of a tree you've got, somebody will say something good about it. So then you guys, as a group, you just kind of bring something to work on and Once talk and, and share and yep. Problem, mm -hmm. problems. <laughs> and what? Problems. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when you looked at this tree, yeah. you saw this windswept yeah. look to it. And you want to accentuate that and then also maybe something that breaks back away from it, the opposite direction? or You can. Yeah, you can, like this, like, see like this one is not complete, Windsor, it's semi, see, he's got some, he's kind of turning that way, Yeah. like maybe 75%, but then he's got more branches over here that they're, they're, trying, they're trying to hold back yeah. a little bit, but yeah, see like this, this are like, uh, I'll say probably 50% turning that way. Yeah. Like this. And with the wire, you make them 
more so. Yeah. 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 That's why you wire it. Yeah. To make them the way you think it should they should look like. How long have you been doing this? Yeah. Oh, for about probably s at least six years. That I've been learning. Yeah. Yeah. And, and every year is a pass by. You learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you, I can also. I also learn from other partners that they know more than I do now. You know. Even longer on the club. Yeah. Yeah. How many people are in the club? About 30. Mm -hmm. And when do you guys meet? Here. When you're wiring, you make sure you don't you don't uh, wrap around your wire and some other branches because they'll get choked. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just pulling most of the little branches away when I'm rolling the wire on the and the thicker wood. Yeah. See, like this. Miguel, where, yeah. where is the front for you front, right now? Put it, is, put, us up, put it on this camera here and it will take a portrait. I'll say it's right here. Let's see. Like this? Is, is that... For me, it's coming right, no, but right for the camera. Oh. Right there. Okay. 